On today's episode, I want to kind of do a recap of the Lawn Care Life Conference. You know, the audience is just perfect. 300 lawn care professionals that really know their stuff, like that's where we need to be. What would you say to somebody who didn't come this year? They heard me hyping it up and they're like, you're just exaggerating and it ain't really that great. I'm not the guy mowing the lawn, but boy, did I take away a lot of cool tips and tricks and a lot of things that if I was, boy, that would have helped me tremendously. He shared on Friday night that his fertilizer company does $14 million. It's all off of social media. You know, you look around, everybody's attention is on the phone now. My Instagram feed right now is like Ferris, 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 Ferris. My advice to anybody in lawn care is we are fresh off the Lawn Care Life Conference. It was a huge success in Springville, Alabama. And one of the reasons why is because Ferris Mowers was there. So shout outs to my boy, Chad Oferia. I say your name Ophiera. right? Ophiera. Ophiera. Yeah. And you guys absolutely crushed it, bringing Colton and your vice president and all your mowers. So on today's episode, I want to kind of do a recap of the Lawn Care Life Conference, your perspective. So uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, Chad, and, and we'll dive into to your takeaways from the wonderful time in Springville, Alabama. Absolutely. Yeah. So like like Paul, like you said, Chad Ophier, I'm kind of in charge of all the marketing branding for Ferris um, in the U.S. and uh, Ferris Mowers. And uh, yeah, I mean, we had a great time at the Lawn Care Life Conference. We brought a ton of demo units. We brought some of our best people. We flew John Matson, who's our vice president of sales for North America, down there, um, mainly because you know, the audience is just perfect. 300 lawn care professionals that really know their stuff, like that's where we need to be. So um, for us, it was just a great time. We captured a lot of content, had a lot of fun, made a lot of friends. The networking piece was just magical. I mean, you know, it's great to hear the speakers and things of that nature, but some of the best times for me was, you know, after everybody's done talking and we were like literally having food together and outside demoing units and just getting to hear people's stories. So it was, it was a great time, and you guys did an amazing job putting it together, Paul. Thanks, and and we, we really appreciate you coming. What would you say to somebody who didn't come this year? They heard me hyping it up, and they're like, you're just exaggerating, and it ain't really that great. Uh, you were there. What, what, yeah. what would you say to somebody? Because um, we're gonna soon we're going to release tickets for the 2025 show, and I, I don't know when it's going to – if it's going to sell out by – April, May, June, July, you, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to sell out in 2024 for the 2025 show. What, what would you say to someone who missed out this year? Man, I would say a couple of things. I would say, number one, if you are in the lawn care industry and you are, you know, maybe you're an owner operator, maybe you're out there mowing yourself, maybe it's a one man gang, maybe you have a whole bunch of people. Just hearing some of the tips and tricks from the speakers can accelerate your path to success so much faster. Um, you know, I obviously am in charge of the marketing for a major lawnmower company, right? I'm not the guy mowing the lawn, but boy, did I take away a lot of cool tips and tricks and a lot of things that if I was, boy, that would have helped me tremendously. So there's a lot of knowledge to be had there. There's a lot of um, insight to be gained, a lot of people to meet, a lot of things to try. Like for us, like demoing our units, there are so many people that had heard of Ferris, but have never tried one. And with our mowers, it's all about you got to see, you got to touch it, you got to experience how the suspension feels and how it cuts. Um, and when people did that, they were amazed. So I don't know. It seems like it's the place to be. That's for sure. Tell, tell me the story of that blonde I saw on Instagram. I don't know if you, yeah, it was you in the video or someone else from Ferris, <laughs> but I saw some blonde. I could tell that it was her first time on a stand on. Was that you? That was me. I was giving her a little, you know, a little tutorial on how to use a stander. She'd never used one before. And um, it was pretty impressive. Like she really picked it up in uh, basically no time at all. It's very intuitive. But um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to, to like show her the ropes and like, here's how the controls work. And, um, you know, the way when I first started running zero turns and stuff, I always thought about steering is almost like almost operating a shopping cart, like how you're turning, you know. So that's kind of what I was pointing out to her in the video. And uh, she really picked it up quick. So hats off. Yeah. Well, the trailer, I was, I was watching the video. I'm like, OK, obviously there wasn't a crash because I would have heard about this. Yeah. But I'm sitting there watching the trailer and I could tell she's never been on one before. I was like, ooh. And, he was close to that corner, but uh, it turned out to yeah. be a finger of a video. So that was great. Yeah, a lot of a lot of great content was was captured there. And, you know, for us, like, you know, I had GoPros on mowers. We had drones in the sky. We I think we took like 3,400 pictures of people having a great time at Ferris Mowers. So, you know, like you talk about, you know, in, law, in the world of lawn care, like, you know, if you're growing your business and marketing yourself, like there's so much to be had in content gathering. Um, 
and that was something that we learned a lot about too at the conference, you know, so great place to be. Yeah. And Colton has been doing a world-class job with, with the content. Uh, he came down to, to Alabama where, where Jason lives and that's when I first met Colton and I, I gave him a couple of tips and tricks. I was like, you know, get a little bit of better angle and, and mm -hmm. get, you know, I just showed him a few things. Not that he didn't already know, you know, but I just mm -hmm. showed him a couple of my, my tricks. It's like throw a trending sound, you know, to, yeah. to, the, to the mower. And he's really been blowing up um, on, on uh, Instagram specifically. And I'm sure that's led to more demos and, and hopefully more sale, sales for Ferris. But from y'all's perspective, have you been noticing uh, Colton from, from Ferris uh, really getting a lot of views over there? Yeah. And I mean, views that turn into real people coming to Ferris, you know, and, you know, uh, trying our mowers and buying our mowers. So, you know, it's, it's serious business, the content gathering and, you know, it's Colton's full-time job to be out there doing demos, but also, you know, for me in the marketing piece, he's like a secret weapon of ours to really be capturing content in the field. And, you know, we also have, we have nine other people like Colton um, in our company that work out in the field that are demoing units that are gathering content. And, you know, it's, just, it's, it's invaluable um, when you're trying to gain attention and try to gain market share to have people like that out there that are, that are doing that and that are, you know, that are actually making the content, you know, that are, that are learning about it, sharing it, growing it. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to be a part of. Yeah. And there's a couple of things I wanted to, to say about that, but um, I'll start with Alan Hayne. He shared on Friday night that his fertilizer company does $14 million. Yeah. And it's all off of social media. He, he has a YouTube yep. channel that people know the lawn care nut and then he he sells fertilizer to his audience mm -hmm. and he made 14 million dollars last year and and when i say it's from social media i mean youtube but but like i had a comment i don't know and i i could screenshot and share it with you chad but somebody made a really positive comment about ferris on one of my reels and colton responded to it but but they basically said man ferris is coming out of nowhere like they're they're taking social media seriously and I was like, I know, and you guys are, um, you know, getting a lot of attention and, and it's yeah. because of social media. And I don't know at what point you, you can look at the correlation of your sales and all of that, but it's got to turn into sales at some point. And, and I, I yeah. think when you look at the graphs one day, you'll be like, you know, not that Colt needs a raise. Uh, I think he's already earned that, but it's like this stuff. For Alan Hain turned into $14 million and from Ferris, you know, I'm sure you guys are going to have more mower sales because yeah. you're where you're where people are, and that's on that's on social media. Yeah, I mean, you look at like this the talk with Alan was fantastic on Friday, and you know, just kind of confirmed everything that you know I believe in. And you know, you look around, everybody's attention is on the phone now. You know, like you look at you know, people in a car, for example, like the passenger is not looking at billboards anymore. If they're riding the car, they're looking at their phone. Or if a commercial comes on TV, you're looking at your phone, you know, or whatever it is, like everything, all the attention is here. So that's where you got to be. And like you get that. Alan gets that. Um, me coming into Ferris, I've been here since last August. Prior to that, that I kind of worked in the world of NASCAR. So kind of, um, you know, overseeing a whole team's marketing, you know, everything from graphic design to social to video to photo to sponsorship deals um all that and i think that's kind of what i'm bringing to ferris is kind of the importance of the social piece and the engagement piece and the great content and to have people like colton um on board with us it's just it's not even fair sometimes at the competition because i know that we can you know we can reach so many more people and we can do it in a creative way that's fun that is authentic yeah, Col Colton's definitely going to, I mean, he's blowing up on social media, but uh, typically what my friends and I who are nerds about algorithms, typically in May, May is like the monster month. The, the algorithms are just pushing lawn care and, and sure. June and July and April, April's pretty good month as well. But we've been in the wool, if you will, because it's winter and, you know, there's not grass to cut in most parts sure. of, of, of our where our viewers are. But it's going to pick back up, and he's going to he's going to have an explosive spring on social media. Is is, is my prediction? So, yeah, that, that's what I think on um, on the social media. But I want to uh, share a little bit more about the event, Chad, because you know, of course, we had hundreds of friends there, but we have thousands of of listeners of the podcast that weren't there. Mm -hmm. So, ninety percent of the people listening to us weren't there. I want to kind of share a little bit of the lay of the land. We had 
you guys came in on Friday, uh, got set up. We had dinner on Friday, a taco bar. Um, and we got big news coming soon about that for next year uh, for the for the drinks. So we'll have we'll have a special. Stay announcement. tuned. Stay tuned. We gotta we gotta work through the uh, Alabama legalities, but uh, we might we might uh, I can tease we might have some beer beer on fear beer on Ferris, huh? I mean, you cannot confirm nor deny anything at this point, but we'll see. The goal though is we gotta get you guys there early on Saturday morning, so we might have to have like a limit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't be sleeping in on Saturday morning and miss all the speakers and breakfast. Yeah, but we, we we'll have that. Uh, we got we got to double check with uh, the governor of Alabama and things of that nature. But uh, we we might have a big announcement for for that um, for next year. But before we get into Saturday, like you were saying, that's where the magic happened on Friday night was just watching all these business owners, you know, yeah. having a taco, having a beer, talking shop. What 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 was your thought? Just kind of seeing that happen. Um, that networking component. I was kind of amazed. Like, I mean, I'm standing there, you know, obviously we were doing demos all day long. We were outside, we came inside and like during the taco bar time, you know, I'm standing at the table, I'm talking to John Matson, our vice president, you know, I got our, our, our guys are there. We're at, we're networking. We meet, we're meeting people, but just looking around the room, you could see everybody engage with each other and people moving around and talking to other people. And I just met so many cool people, you know, like, you know, for example, we were standing there and that, that one group came up and they just drove like 16 hours from the southernmost point of Texas to be there. And they got there and like, here I'm talking to them. Um, George and, and then we, Yeah. I mean, gold, you can't put a price tag on like meeting those kind of people. Right. Like, and you know, for them to meet me, to meet John Matson, to try our machines, like there's no other place I'd rather be. Trust me. That was absolutely magical. And, you know, kudos to you, Jason, and everybody else that stepped up and put that, this whole thing on, you know, we were just proud to be a part of it. Yeah. I didn't realize they got to talk to John. They, they drove from, they're from Brownsville, Texas, which is on literally on the border. So like uh, George would tell me when he would get his, like gets his cell phone out, it says, welcome to Mexico. He's like, wow. I'm in Texas, but, but the cell phone reception thinks you're in Mexico. So he always gets this message on his phone. This yeah. is welcome to Mexico. But they, if we're talking about the same couple, cause we had several people drive 14, 16 hours, but they were really yeah. healthy and fit, good looking couple. And they had three kids. Is that, yep. is that who you're talking about? Yes. So, so John, what did John think about getting to, to meet them? He was impressed. You know, he's like, again, he's like, there's no better use of our time or his time. You know, I really wanted John to come down and do that 10 minute speech after or before dinner or whatever. And, um, you know, John and I were talking and there's just no better use of his time, my time, anybody on our team's time than to be right there with the absolute perfect uh, you know, potential Ferris audience, you know, the people that use the machines, people that have never heard of us, people that, you know, mow for a living who are out there grinding every day. Those are the people we want to talk to. You know, we're not, you know, I, we're not interested in selling mowers at like box stores and things of that nature. Like we want to be right there with a the customer, you know, that, that would use our stuff. And they were there, you know, every single one of them were there. So amazing. Yeah, we're going to have some announcements soon, Chad, but the Friday, so this year Friday opened up, uh, I think 4:30 registration opened up, and we, we had some people come. Uh, I think uh, Kevin from uh, I think he's up in Connecticut. I saw him make a video, yeah. you know, before it even opened. On the he's a Hartford. Hartford he's Hartford. from the Hartford area. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he's a Furt and Squirt guy. So I saw him out there filming YouTube videos and and and, and things of that nature. But we're actually going to plan to start the event in 2025 closer to noon. So 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 our first session is going to be a workshop at noon. And I, Jason's going to get all mad if I tell you guys everything right now, but. But it's going to be a kind of instead of like a one night and then a full day, we're going to, it's going to basically be two full days um, next year. So that that's going to be exciting. It's great. Um. So anyway, that was Saturday or probably that was Friday night. We we, we got people got in early. We had uh, Alan Hayne gave a speech. Uh, John he could have gone ten minutes. He 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 was very short and to the point. I don't think he wanted to like you know take up too much time before the taco bar. So I think he was pretty you know, cognizant of people's time, but uh, he definitely enjoyed talking and, and, you know, thanking everybody for being there and showing people how serious that, that we take it at Ferris to be, you know, with people that, that use our machines and who want to use our machines. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you got positive feedback. Cause I know Chad kept not texting me or emailing me like every day, but Hey, how's the registration is going to be good. I'm like, dude, the event's going to be great. Like I knew it was going to be, it was going to be awesome. Yeah. But for him to get to see it firsthand and, and be there and, and, and like, capture that moment um that makes me feel good 
that that he appreciated that. So, yep, you guys did a great job. I mean, the place was jammed. I mean, there was a lot. There was a lot of people in there. It was fantastic, and the energy. You know, it's like when you go to a concert or something. You know, you can't really describe the energy till you're in the room, and there was definitely a buzz there. You know, there was definitely some magic in the air. Yeah, there's clearly a a, a tangible buzz of of just uh, business owners after a long winter. You know, mo- most of us are from the yes. southeast region and and getting. You know, it's 73 degrees today, and and you know, Jason's like we, we were on a call with Jason days. I got seven more yards to go here before the sun sets. So, so it's funny. I mean, it's go time down here. But everyone, it was kind of like one last hooray before we go and make a bunch of money, you know, in the yep. in the spring rush. So so that was awesome. Is there anything else you want to share about Friday um, before we get into to kind of recap in Saturday? No, I mean, I just, I mean, if next year it's going to be a little bit more time during the day, all the better because, you know, we tried to do a lot of demos while people were checking in and registering. And, you know, the more time we can have, you know, where people are getting to try our mowers and stuff, even better because with Ferris, like, like I think I said before, you know, it's one thing to talk about it, to know about the mower, but when you actually get up close to one of our mowers and see like the worksmanship, the quality behind it, and then you get on it and experience why they're so good, um, especially with some bumps and character in the ground that we had over there. I think uh, you know you just can't put a price tag on you know having people actually experience our machine. So with Friday, it was just fantastic, and making Friday longer next year is going to be a move in the right direction. Yeah, we're we're definitely excited. Um, I mean, that's that's a done deal. I I just don't know if we're starting at eleven thirty at noon at, at twelve thirty, but I know we're going to be doing uh, workshops all day long, um, and then we'll and then it will pick back up with the we'll have the traditional keynote on Friday night. Sweet. And um, Alan Hain, he he uh, he emailed um, Jason pretty much immediately, like, "Hey, sign me up for next next year." <laughs> like, he um, he, he's a, a big fish in, in in YouTube, but um, you know, it's 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 good that our speakers are like, "Yeah, hey, I want to come back." Like, he wants to yep. be a part of it. So that was that was awesome. And then um, again, we'll we'll, we'll make all those announcements soon. But um, we're extending the show, so so Friday is going to be more of a full good. day. So that's going to be great. Now, getting into Saturday, um, that's kind of the main day. We, yeah. you know, we had breakfast, we, we had our speeches um, in the morning, and then about lunchtime. And, and again, I think the magic happened on Friday night, kind of after Alan's talk. And then 11 to 1, I don't think it could have gone any better on, on Saturday. What's, what's your perspective? That two hours of lunch just seemed the weather was perfect, the conversations, yeah. the networking. What was your perspective? Because I thought that two hours was my favorite of the show. Yeah, it was so powerful. Like when people came out and they got to jump on mowers and network outside. And, um, you know, we just had, you know, I don't know, nine or 10 units there that were just being run like crazy. We had some of our best people out there to talk details on every mower. And, you know, just having, you know, someone from Alabama and somebody from Connecticut, you know, um, somebody from Texas, like all these people coming up and talking to us and giving us feedback and, you know, recognition for, you know, the engineering and the mowers and how much they like them. Like it was just outstanding. Um, and like, you're right, that time frame during demo time, the networking was happening. You know, the engagement was happening. Um, people were having fun. It's also motivational. Like I feel, I felt like jacked up when I left that whole thing. Like I was like, let's go. And I'm not even, you know, I'm doing marketing for Ferris, right? I'm not the guy out there cutting the lawns, but if I was, I think I would be fired up after, after the conference. That's for sure. Yeah. And it was a huge win for, for, I feel like Ferris in the marketing perspective. I mean, for example, like we didn't even talk, this wasn't even like planned, but Johnny from uh, blades of grass, he was there and I don't know how many reels he took of your stuff, but I've been seeing them pop up and I'm like that, yeah. that was just a being in the right place at the right time. And, and, um, you know, he, he was generous to just make the videos and, uh, yeah. you know, share them. And, and I've been seeing Ferris. I can't tell you how I feel like my, my Instagram feed right now is like Ferris, 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 Ferris. Like you guys got so much promotion from Colton and Johnny and, yeah. and everyone else that was there. Pookie did a, uh, uh, he was driving down the hill in the first thing. And um, it just a lot of really good content that was made because you guys showed up and were there. And, and thankfully the Lord gave us sunny weather. Cause beautiful. Weather. I mean, it, it was, it was picture perfect. And you guys coming from the North, I could tell yeah. appreciate it even more. Cause you're like, it's 35 degrees back where I'm from. Yeah. I live, I live here in upstate New York, like kind of near our Ferris factory. And, you know, we had snow on the ground. It was freezing and got on the plane to go down to, to Alabama. And uh, boy, I tell you, the weather was just perfect. 
absolutely. I mean, it's one of those days where it's like you don't want any cooler, you don't want any warmer. It's just like right in the perfect zone. And uh, it was fun to be outside and fun to, you know, I was riding machines around with people. Um, there's just a lot of fun, perfect weather, perfect people, great venue too. Yeah. And, and we're, uh, it's, it's Jason's wife's family's venue. So we're going to um, do it next year on February 21 and 22 which is the final weekend in February, which we thought is perfect because Mar the season for most of us in the South, I know if you're in Florida, it's year. I mean, you're like, dude, I got a buddy yeah, down right. at Paul Capote down in Miami. He's, he never has an off season. He's, yeah. he's, he's uh, year round. But for most of us in the Southeast, you know, March 1st is like the official, official start. So it's like literally the last weekend before go time. We get to rally together. We get to come. So if you guys want to save the date, um, registration is not available yet, but it's going to be very soon. Um, but it's going to be February 21 and 22 of 2025. And as soon as registration is open, I'll let you guys know. But we're going to, um, you know, we're going to have to cap it because it's, yeah. it's, it's, um, you saw the parking lot. It was packed. Yeah. There's only so much room. I mean, you yeah. got to get there. It's like not one of these things where, oh, it's going to sell out or whatever, get your tickets because you're just messing with people. It really is. Like, and it was jammed. You know, capacity crowd on hand kind of deal. Like, I was very impressed. Yeah, so once it once it gets announced, guys, I, I would highly, highly, highly recommend being there um, in 2025. I'm looking forward to it. We have some pretty cool speakers um, that, that are coming in, but I was telling you off air, Chad, that you guys um, and, and, and some of the other sponsors, uh, Cress and, and some of the other folks just brought so much character to the event and, and bringing, um, I talked to one gentleman, he came all the way down from Virginia Beach. I, I thought he was like an Alabama guy. I was like, where, I think his name might be Casey. It was at, yeah. I, I met so many people. I was like, where are you from? He's like, Virginia Beach. I was like, Virginia Beach. Yeah. yeah like, he, Casey's, Casey's one of our guys, a product specialist who like Colton is out yeah. there like, when you go to ferrismowers.com Ferris and you like request a demo, like Colton or Casey or one of our guys like that show up at your house and like bring three or four mowers with them and you can try them. So that's Casey. We, I'm like, Casey, we got to have you come down for Virginia Beach for this. So he drove down there with a the trailer. Colton came from Chattanooga. You know, like we brought the best of the best, right? So we wanted to make sure that everybody got to, to try all the mowers, to learn from the experts who know these machines better than anybody else. So when there's a technical question, we can answer it. Um, it's, it's different, you know, it's like, you know, there's a lot of mower companies out there, you know, a lot of the mowers aren't too different. It's about the people behind them. You know, it's about the people, it's about the way you're treated. Um, it's about this, you know, being with a company that takes it serious that you're out there grinding on a lawn and, you know, you're, you're really trying to make things happen and you want to be successful. Like we care about that. You know, we care about you. We care about the end user. Um, a lot of people make mowers, you know, I feel like we have the people behind it that, you know, really, really try to make the difference. And it's, it's one thing to say it, it's another thing to do it, but it's pretty incredible to work with Ferris and have people like Casey come down for, for Virginia Beach or Colton from Chattanooga or Martin Brown, who's there from Florida. You know, we call kind of like descended upon it together as a team. It was fun. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. And, and the VP, John, came down and uh, from Milwaukee, you know, just hopped down from Milwaukee to Springville, you know, and uh, he loved it. Yeah, that, that was absolutely great. And our friend CJ, she's been on the program multiple times. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that uh, hopefully some of these pictures and, and good news have, have gotten back to her because um, it was great, you know, having her on the, the podcast and, and working with Ferris last year. And I think at the Equip Expo, I kind of, you know, pitched it to you and CJ. I was like, hey, me and Jason are doing this event. Like, we'd love for Ferris to be a part of it. And you guys, I was telling you off there, you overachieved. Like, you brought – so, so much uh, people yeah. and, and, and attention to the event, and it just it just made it better, and it gave more opportunity for that the, the demo time for you know everyone to yep. kind of be able to to hop on a machine and, and things of that nature. So we're just we're full of gratitude um, for you know you guys knocking it out of the park, Chad, and, and you you know coming into Ferris and and Colton. Excuse me, I'm I'm getting over. I, I just was uh, doing cardio earlier today, and I'm feeling it. Love but, it. Uh, you're like you're you're drinking your your giant jug of water at the Long Care Life Expo. I think you're trying to. Yeah. Are you like are you focused on like some serious health gains? Well, I I I'm I'm fighting obesity. So so I I went on um, I went on this website and it has your your height, your weight, yeah. and then it says your your moderate weight, 
you're overweight or you're obese. And I'm looking and it says 234 is your obese for, for being six foot one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I'm oh 234. So it like I had this um I had this humbling experience that I'm obese. Yeah. And that word that really made me mad. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna yeah, try man. to get into moderate. Like now I'm overweight technically. So so I went from you're, you're going in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm no longer obese, I'm overweight. But my goal is to get into that moderate category. And that really made me mad because I was like, I never thought, like when I thought of obese, I thought of like those documentaries where some fat guy's eating pizza in his bed and sure. like hasn't left in like, you know, like two, you know, two years. He's been, he's getting, this, uh, I watched this thing out of like a KFC bucket and the guy was so overweight. And I was like, I thought that was obesity, but no, like technically I'm, I'm obese at 234. Yeah. So anyway, I've been um, before Jason and I and you talked um, a little while ago. I was at the football field. I, I would I started in the end zone. I went to the ten yard line, and I go back to the goal line. And I go to the twenty yard line, back to the goal line to the thirty, back to the goal line to the forty, back to the goal line fifty, back to the goal line, and that's as far Ooh. as I can go. My, my goal by the end of spring or whatever is I can actually go then to the next forty and back and like do the whole entire field. I'm not there yet. But um, I'm trying to condition and I'm trying to to get in yeah. better shape and, and things of that nature. So yeah, I've I've been drinking water um, and and trying to eat eat healthier and, and exercise and 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 not awesome. not be overweight. So I gotta I gotta start training with you because I'm I'm six four and I'm definitely like in the high two thirties. So I'm like I'm definitely gotta be obese. You're you're not That's obese. Funny. No 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 no. Because I mean four you got plenty more. Each okay. one that goes up, you get some leeway. You get a little more. Okay. Well, um, is there anything we're leaving out here, Chad? I, I know I said we'd be on, on from 4 to 5 p.m. here. I don't I don't want to um, overdo your time, but I want to express on behalf of our community, the, the event, guys, was a humongous success. And Ferris, you guys being there was a was an anchor to the event, pillar to the event. We, we just, you know, off air, Jason and I expressed our gratitude. On air, I want to say thanks to Ferris and, and, and just – appreciate you sewing into this community and, and being there for us. So whatever else you want to say, you know, the yeah. floor is yours. No, I just want to say like, thank you to you and Jason and everybody else for, you know, allowing us to come in there. And, you know, part of what, what I get to do at Ferris is really, I guess, turn people onto the brand and show them what we stand for and who builds these mowers and what we're doing behind the scenes. So um, like I said, there's a lot of uh, different mower companies out there. Um, but it's about the people and the people you work with and the people that use the machines and all that together, the community behind it that, you know, um, really makes our company different, I think. And, you know, as we go forward um, in the world of marketing with Ferris, like we're going to be going deep into the history of the company. And, you know, some of the the legends of Ferris are going to be shown, like people that have, you know, come up with ideas. And, you know, like, I don't know if a lot of people know about our suspension, but Todd Gordon, who is a NASCAR Cup Series champion crew chief with, you know, last won the cup with Joey Logano in 2018. Like he helped design our suspension. Like we're going to talk to him, kind of like show people, you know, these things are also really made in America. You know, like the first time I ever walked into our factory here in Cheryl, New York, I was like absolutely amazed because they're loading steel in one end of the building. And then, you know, hundreds of mowers a day are popping out of the front of the building. And I'm like, I can't believe this is happening you know, here in America, here in, here in upstate New York in like dairy farm country. It's amazing. Um, and then just talking about like the R and D stuff, we've already started putting some stuff out like that with Bob Lauren, who's the head of our engineering and R and D department, just showing some of the things that we do with mowers behind the scenes to, to make sure that they're the best mower you could ever possibly buy. Like it's going to be tough. It's going to be durable. It's going to be built to last. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff is near and dear to my heart and telling the story of the brand is a big part of it and you know i i i was really happy with the lawn care life conference conference because we got to really meet a lot of people that actually use the equipment some that have never used it some that tried it some that were impressed um so i mean just keep up the good work there paul on your end with jason and you know i can't wait to uh, hopefully be a part of this again next year and do it up even bigger with more time to promote it you know when we go to expo i'm gonna be talking about the lawn care life conference you know, all throughout the year. So yeah, might uh, be sold out by, by Expo. We'll, we'll see. I, I don't know how yeah. they're going to go, but <laughs> I believe that everybody who came this year is going to want to come back next year. And it's just like yeah. the people that didn't come to get the ticket for, I mean, it's going to be fun uh, to, to see how fast we can sell this thing out. Yeah. And I would say, do not delay if uh, tickets do go on sale because it will sell out. 
uh, based on what we saw this this year and word of mouth from what happened, uh, it's going to definitely sell out. I can't wait to be a part of it. Yeah, and I got a bunch of good videos and pictures. Uh, in 2020, we were joking with Jason, but I was because Jason did the event three years without me helping him, and then this year he's like, "Hey, you know, you have a rolodex of of folks like yourself, Chad and and CJ and these brands." He's yeah. like, "Why don't you why don't you bring some of these contacts you have to the event?" And um, you know, I'll bring the venue. So Jason and I kind of teamed up, yeah. and it's been awesome. But I was like, well, send me your pictures and videos from last time. <laughs> and he's like, I don't have any. I was like, what do you mean? Man. I don't have any. And he's like, well, I think I saw, and literally, he's like, I think I saw the Balthazars made a YouTube video. And if you go on YouTube and maybe you can, I'm like, oh my gosh, Jason. So we, uh, we overachieved this year. And we had like three different videographers and photographers yeah, yeah. were like, we're going to capture how much fun we're having and show yeah. you. Um, so I have, you have 3,400 pictures. I have probably, a, yeah. I mean, my guy sent me, I have so many pictures and good ones too. I mean, it, they're fantastic footage. Yeah. Like people like, I mean, you don't realize it. I mean, but your, your lawn care professionals and stuff, when you're promoting yourself online and on the, you know, on the social networks, if you will, capturing content is so important. And, you know, I, I, for example, we had GoPros on, on mowers. We had drones in the sky. We had photographs and videos happening. Um, for us, it's about, you know, capturing it, you know, and show, show people what we're doing. You know, like, I know we talked about this, but when we were at Expo this year, um, you know, that last day when it started raining and we were running our mowers outside and Colton captured the video of mm -hmm. like our guys, like just doing donuts in the mud and, you know, slinging mud with them. The video itself is probably more impactful than even the whole Expo show. You know, it's been had like millions of views. Mm -hmm. It's reached so much, so many people such a, a wide reaching audience um so my advice to anybody in lawn care is capture your content you know good bad or ugly you know be be a content creator because you can you can bottle the magic of the event and then you can share it with others but you can if you don't take pictures and videos and things of that nature so a lot of potential there yeah we we got we got the the videos the the pictures this year so <laughs> you guys will be seeing those on social media Lastly, as we land the plane here and I go get some water, um, if somebody wants to have Colton come out or, or, or um, Casey or, or um, Martin, or I, I, I don't remember everyone's name. I met so many people, but yeah. what's that process look like for, for Colton to come to your house? And he's done this for yeah. Jason and I. He's literally been to Jason's house. Yeah, it's so easy. Like, I mean, the, the biggest thing with Ferris is you got to try it because once you try it, you're going to realize there's nothing else like it. Like, there's no rigid frame mower that you can get on that's going to feel better than us. We have 16 patents on the suspension, but it's the kind of thing that you don't even appreciate it until you try it. And people are like, oh, it's so complicated. There's so many moving parts. But, you know, with the, the low impact, your machines last longer. You feel better. Like all this stuff happens, but the only way you can do it is if you try it. So if you go to ferrismowers.com, there's a demo request button on the bottom. And you go down there, put your information in, like Colton or Martin, or Casey or somebody, you'll get contacted and we'll schedule a demo and we'll show up with the enclosed trailer. You can try, you know, a, a standard, a, a zero turn sit down, a blower. Like, you know, we, we bring a whole plethora of things to you to try because we know if you try it, you're going to fall in love with it. Um, seeing is believing. Yeah. And he's got, Colin's got some viral videos with that hurricane blower. I've, I made some, oh my uh, gosh. Jason and I playing soccer with it, but um, so, some of his most viral videos are that hurricane blower. So, oh yeah. I mean, they blow some serious leaves with that thing, you know, like in, in videos and you know, like you and Jason even cutting like super tall grass. Like we don't care. Bring it on. Like whatever, it, whatever you have, like try the mowers and push them as hard as you can. Because when you, when you try them, you'll see how, how awesome they are. And we stand behind them. You know, a lot of people, our whole community of people that build them in America depend on it. And they stand behind it. And, you know, the whole, the whole place uh, in Cheryl and Munsville, they're, they're proud to be producing some of the best mowers on planet earth you know that's what it's all about for us yes sir there's a guy i used to watch geek the freak greg chisholm back in the day he 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 retired but um he uh he had a ferris mower you know and that was like social media uh yeah. marketing back before it was anyone even knew what an influencer was but greg sure. was always talking about his ferris mower and um N Naylor almost crashed it we, we went to his house and Naylor didn't know how to drive it he almost went in went into Greg's garage and um, it was quite, quite entertaining, but um, 
anyway, I, I'm thankful again uh, yeah. for you guys being involved. We'll have some major announcements soon. We've announced the date, February 21 through 22. Um, Chad and I and Jason are brainstorming on how we can make it bigger and better next year. And, and we really do have to check with some licensing legalities and things of that nature. But we yeah. might have some exciting news for a, a little uh, – We'll just say Ferris. Ferris is going to do some things at, at next year's Long Care Life Conference, but uh, we got to we got to cr- dot our eyes and cross our T's at first. But we'll, yeah, we'll make that soon. I would like to uh, be able to help even dial it up to another notch of awesomeness. You know, and this this year's event was killer. It was absolutely incredible. Um, you know, Ferris is very proud to be there. Very happy to be there. And um, you know, with working with you guys, like I would love to even figure out how we can dial it to the next level. You know, to to make it even more memorable for the the hardworking people that are coming there. Like I really appreciate the effort that those guys put into learning, to developing themselves, to networking. Like it's very refreshing to see how amazing the people are in the lawn care industry, like I mean, from the heart. It's, it's amazing to see. Yeah. And the, and the networking, you, you can network at equip and I do, but it's kind of, it's kind of this hustle and bustle at equip. And I go to equip every year. I'm going to go this year. I'm, I'm not saying anything sure. bad about equip. I'll be there. I'll I love see you there. Equip. But it's it's uh it's fast paced. It's it's uh it's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. This one, you you park in the 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 little gravel parking lot they got it and, and uh you're just there all day and you're lingering yeah. and you're 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 getting a deeper connection and a and yes. a deeper networking and it's it's just uh that networking component. Um I don't know if I remember anything from 2020 when I went the first time, like X's and O's, like oh I Alan taught this and that changed mm-hmm. my business with this. I, I just, I don't remember anything like that, but I remember that was the first time I met Alan Hayne. I was like starstruck, but I met him and I was like so nervous around him. Now I'm not, but I was like, that's Alan Hayne, the lawn care nut. And I, I met my bookkeepers, Megan and Joey. And I really didn't know Jason that well. That was the first sure, time sure. I kind of introduced myself and I'm like, Hey, I'm Paul. I do a podcast. And like, you know, that was, that was kind of where we met. Yeah. And, um, I remember, and, and now fast forward four or five years later, Megan and Joey, my bookkeepers, Jason's one of my best pals. Yeah. Alan, I got Alan's phone number in my phone. Like I feel, you know, cool. You made it, you made it now, yeah. but, but those relationships and I, I could name so many more, um, Sunville down in Florida. I, I met him and, and, yes. and so many other people. Um, and, and those are the memories, um, you, yes. you know, you'll, you'll remember meeting George and Belinda from, from Mexico at border Mexico, yeah. you know, and, and, and then you'll see them at equipment like, Hey, remember me. And, and, and so that's, what, that's what I want you guys to understand is come next year and, and, and join the community, join that networking, uh, Colton and I, you know, we met at Jason's event, but I feel like I'm even tighter with Colton now because yes. we got to mingle in, in Alabama. So that's, that's yeah, my, it's, it's pretty amazing. Like you just, you being able to have that kind of quality time with people too. Like, you know, like you said, at equip expo, it's fast paced. There's speakers happening. There's things happening events, but like, you know, I've talked to some people at the long care life conference that have used Ferris mowers, like, you know, for a whole, maybe like an hour behind the trailer. I'm just sitting there just talking about like, you know, give me feedback and how's everything going and how can we help you more? And, you know, just having that kind of quality one-on-one time with people at a deep level. So valuable, so valuable. And, you know, I was even asking people when they got off the mower, what'd you think? Good, bad, ugly. Like if there's something you don't like, you know, what would that be? If, if, if you had to make the best lawnmower that ever existed, where would the PTO switch be? You know, like, where would this be? Like break that down for me because we can talk to engineering and we can make things happen. So for me, getting feedback from real people using stuff in the field, that's our audience. That's what we're all about. We make, we make mowers for those guys. You know, we don't make mowers for, you know, advertisements you know we don't have actors on mowers and perfect lighting and canned stuff like it's it's about the real person at the end of the deal that that's what we're all about you know so it was gold awesome well thanks again chad thanks again colton john the the whole ferris team cj thank you for um everything she's done uh since since i had her on the podcast she's just been um you know all in on on any ideas we've had she's like let's do it and and she's been great and so um, you know, we'll, we'll rinse and repeat guys. We'll have some exciting new announcements, um, more, more, uh, bigger and better next year. Um, so we'll, once, once we get the green lights on all that, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let you guys know, but in the meantime, mark your calendars, February 21 and 22, um, the last Friday and Saturday of February, 2025. And then once tickets go on sale, we'll let you know. And, um, 
Chad and, and, and even, even Alan Hayman was like, you guys are going to have to get a bigger venue next year. And Jason's like, no, we're doing it at the family's property. So we're not going to, we, we could probably triple it if we market really aggressively and, and get like a convention center, but we're going to keep it at the same spot, family yeah. atmosphere. Um, it's just, we're going to have to put a limit on it. So um, it, it is what it is. But once, once we have um, the, the, the new website up, we'll let you guys know when, when registration opens. So. Thanks, Paul. Cheers. And uh, good luck with the rest of the, po- I love, you know, listening to the podcast. So it's half, I'm happy to be here. This is cool.